Greetings, family, friends, and survivors. You know, I need to go to town right now, and I don't have time to clear off the solar panels. I think it's going to be sunny this afternoon, but I'm not sure. So I thought I'd explain this magnum a little bit to you and how it works when you're charging the batteries with the generator. When the magnum inverter recognizes a generator or shore power, it waits about 40 seconds. And then it turns on the power straight to the house. Now it's in bulk charging and it's ramping up the amps and I can hear the generator loading in the background this is a 24 volt system so about 80 amps it says 86 here Unfortunately, it's cold and snowing and it doesn't want to focus. There we go. Now, if I go to setup and I scroll through the options, that's charge rate. And I have my charge rate set at 80. And the reason why I do this is I have a military generator that's rated at 3000 watts. But it'll handle over 4,000 all day long because uh, it's rated to be 3,000 watts um, I think at 8,000 feet at extreme temperatures so the generator head itself is actually a 4,000 watt head but because it's rated at 3,000 watts I leave this at an 80 percent charge rate and if you take an average of the temperature or excuse me, the voltage curve that it's using and the amps that it's putting into the batteries at 80%, it turns out to about 2,000 watts. And that leaves me 1,000 watts to run the house. So when a refrigerator kicks on or something like that, the generator is still well within its margin. And if you ran the vacuum cleaner, the microwave, the steam mop, or whatever, toaster oven something like that hair dryer it wouldn't matter because I'm actually good for 4,000 watts for short periods of time and so if, if you had a 4,000 watt load for an hour with this generator it would be no big deal but I turn the charge rate down so that uh, I'm giving two-thirds of its rated power to the batteries and one-third of its rated power to the house and that's the nice thing about the Magnum is that's adjustable. Now my old trace inverter was adjustable too, um, but it was a little pot that you'd adjust. And this one's digital and it makes it much nicer. At any rate, um, thought I'd share a little bit how the Magnum works. Have a blessed day.